The Battle of Great Bridge was one of the few battles during the American Revolution that largely conformed to a subsequent American myth about the superiority of American militiamen over British regulars, and that you had British regulars attacking with bayonets fixed and being repulsed by expert marksmen fighting from covered positions. But this is a very atypical kind of episode. The American commander there referred to it as another kind of Bunker Hill affair, and that's actually largely accurate because the Battle of Bunker Hill and the Battle of Great Bridge are, one of the, are, are two of the very few instances in which the battle unfolded in such a way. At Great Bridge, it was largely because the terrain didn't allow the British any other options. And under other circumstances, a bayonet charge by British grenadiers was certain to break untrained militia troops. But at Great Bridge, they simply had too much terrain to cover, and the Culpeper Minutemen were, as the myth attests, very, very expert with their Pennsylvania long rifles.